your future self, your higher self, everything that you want to be, and then some, it already exists. Past, present, future, intangible, which means that your future self is already living his or her best life right now. So that means that you are that person right now, dear. Get in gear! Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alexis, AKA Alexis, and here on my channel, I basically talk about whatever's on my mind, which include, but is not limited to, making positive mindset shifts, taking full and total control of your life, and where I just motivate and encourage you to be exactly who you are. The baddest damn thing on this planet. I changed it from the baddest because I notice that I have male viewers and I don't discriminate. That is not what I'm trying to preach over here. So you are the baddest thing that ever walked this earth. Okay, before I get into this video, if you guys wanted some one-on-one -on -one coaching, I'm openly taking clients and you can just reach me in my paid coaching email down in the description box below. And if you like the video, don't be afraid to like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, let's get on into it. So I just wanna say, that your thoughts, they register and then they become feelings. You and you get thoughts from your higher self. They resonate with you and you know that you wanna have it. There's nothing wrong with desires. Desires literally tell you what it is that you wanna strive for, what it is that you wanna aim towards, what is it that you wanna work towards. Your desires come from something way bigger than you, sweetheart, because at the end of the day, we are just a vessel. Our soul signed this contract, not to sound any like, you know, so no crazy shit but our souls did sign a contract to come down to earth to live our best lives it's as simple as that so when we get a desire it's really our our inner self saying that i want to do this i want to participate in this i want to have this i want to live this and that's perfectly normal it is completely okay to want a richer life and if you're truly desiring something more and more it's just for you to go out and experience it now depending on where you are right now and you having a desire and you're telling yourself that it may not feel like it doesn't feel obtainable at the moment like it seems like this is just too too far out my reach no 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 no. if you have a desire claim it as yours right now once you say yes it will be so cool to have this like imagine when you have your desire don't immediately put it off because once you just clear out of your head that's you creating resistance towards your desire and your desires coming to you are inevitable you wanted it, it's yours, literally. You're thinking about it, it's already coming into your life. But the more that you say that it's not attainable, it's too far out your reach, you can't have it, that's just you getting it out of your line of sight. It was already yours to begin with, that's why that you were given the thought so you can say, oh my gosh, this would be so cool if I was to have this, it would be so cool if I was to experience this, it would be so cool if I, da da da. So you can actually think and feel how it would feel to have it because once you do that your thoughts generate feelings so when you think of your desire your desire makes you feel good it makes you want to experience that good feeling and when you think that good thought you act out based on how you feel your thoughts generate your feelings and your feelings generate how you act that's why it's said to just keep thinking about your desire keep persisting in the idea that you already have it therefore you will already be living in the end of you already having it because you know what it's like to have it you know what it feels like to have it therefore you're just going to act as if you have it already it's that simple i think of the law of attraction or the law of, law of assumption like this i just read it from a book the secret actually and so i'm gonna take that analogy and tell you guys this we are a human transmission tower so that means just like a tv how you don't really know how a tv works you just know that it got fucking antennas and something is doing something click the buttons on a remote because you're changing the channels to something that you want to see and if you're watching something and the moment that you decide that you know i don't want to watch this anymore you have the power to change it because the remote control is you 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 give it the remote control power you decide when it's changing you decide when to stop you decide when to fast forward you decide you decide all you have to do is think that you want to do it so we are human transmission towers and i'm telling you that if in any moment you want to change what you're seeing you want to change what you're living you want to change what you're experiencing flip the switch say you already have it say persist in a new story exactly what it is that you want to experience that's new just decide that it's yours already and act as if <laughs> it's like it seems like so simple so easy like too good to be true and that's the thing the law of attraction is a law just like gravity how anything you pick up has to come down anything that you think has to be 
put in your 3d it has to it has to i don't make the rules you make the rules so if you say to yourself you know i get what you're saying alexis i understand but i have trouble overthinking and da 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 okay girly use that to your advantage every time that i overthink every time that i think about my desire more and more and more this the faster it comes oh i get what you're saying but every time that i think about my manifestation coming i think bad about myself okay whenever i don't think about my manifestation it comes faster any problem or any struggle that you feel as though that you may have something is not a struggle use it as your superpower i used to be um a big overthinker but i actually just manifested that away but when i was an overthinker i told myself my thoughts do not get in the way of my manifestations if i do happen to overthink my manifestations it just means that it's going to persist in my life faster and i know that to be true because the minute that i say that it's true it is it has no choice period so just like you change the channel on your television your thoughts have a frequency which is why when you think a thought and you feel the the feelings surrounding that thought, you attract like things on that same frequency. And it happens in divine order, in divine timing. Time does not exist in the 4D. Once you say that it's yours, it's instantaneous, which is why, like I said, feel what you feel in that present moment of you having what it is that you desire and you're already attracting the like things back to you. You send your desire out to source, out to whoever that you believe in, and it has no choice. Like the law of gravity, if it goes up, gotta come down. You put it out, it has to come back. It has to come back. But the minute that you say, okay, you put it out there, I want a new car. Mm. It would be so nice to have a new car. I feel me driving my new car down this route, down this road, to this store, to this, this. It feels so good to have my foot on a pedal. Like, mm, mm. It's amazing, right? So it's out there. You put your desire out there. Then you say, but that's a dumb idea. I don't even picture myself having a car. Like, where would I get the money from? You put that idea out too. So the, the any thoughts that you think you're putting it out about any situation. So if you told yourself that you have the car, it was already out there, it's gonna come back to you. But the minute you say that you don't know how that you can have it, you put it out there, that's gonna come back to you. Now you don't know how you can get it because you, you said that you wouldn't know. That's why it's important to just focus on what you want and what you want only. All the other shit of the doubts and the how it's gonna happen, when is it gonna take place? All that shit, it has nothing to do with you. Like literally, it has nothing to do with you. And so the moment that you just let that part of yourself go, you surrender, focus on this what you want, and know in your heart that you acting as if you already have it. For example, I was just thinking like, use me as example. Outside of YouTube, I'm Alexis Cardi, right? But the minute that I wanna snap into this, or I'm doing things around my life and I'm like, then I'm kind of being a bum right now. I ask myself, what would Alexis do? What would she do? And if she, whatever she would do, I get in that mindset and I just do it without a second thought. Like literally my body moves and auto, auto, it's automatic. Like I don't have to do too much. It's not too hard. I don't feel like I'm like overexerting myself. It's easy. Like, cause it is easy for you because you are me and I am you. So take me as an example. Whenever you're doing something or self or you're doubting yourself, think, what would Alexis tell me? What would Alexis tell me? Or what would she do? How would she react to the situation? If you need somebody else to believe in, believe in me. Believe in me for you. Believe in me that I believe in you because I believe you. Hope you got the gist of what I was saying. It was a real quick, like, motivational talk. Like, I wasn't really trying to say anything too crazy, but I was just saying that your thoughts literally manifest into your life. Every thought that you focus on. So don't focus on the bad. Focus on the good and what you can't control. Your what? Your why. Get into the core values. Get into the reason why you want shit to get done when you focus on why you're doing it it's gonna feel that much stronger it's gonna feel that much more emotional for you to actually get into that state that end state and it'll just be that much easier so yeah hope you guys like this video don't be afraid to like comment and subscribe and i'm gonna see y'all next time